Finally, God's love is so great that except for the few who deliberately become sons of perdition, he has provided a destiny of glory for all of his children. This is all made possible because of the atonement of Jesus Christ. As we know from modern revelation, he glorifies the Father and saves all the works of his hand. Because of God's great love for all of his children, those lesser kingdoms are still more wonderful than mortals can comprehend. The atonement of Jesus Christ makes all of this possible as he, quote, glorifies the Father and saves all the works of his hands, end of quote. God's love is so great that except for the few who deliberately become sons of perdition, he has provided a destiny of glory for all of his children. And the ultimate glorious destiny of all of God's children, the revealed doctrine of the restored Church of Jesus Christ teaches that all the children of God, with exceptions too limited to consider here, will finally wind up in a kingdom of glory. The atonement of Jesus Christ makes all of this possible. He has revealed that he, quote, glorifies the Father and saves all the works of his hands, end of quote. We are all children of a loving Heavenly Father. For all of us, he has destined life after death and ultimately a kingdom of glory. We know that God loves his children so much that as President Dallin H. Oaks has taught, quote, all the children of God, with the fewest of exceptions, will wind up in the kingdom of glory, close quote. Just think of it. Our Father created kingdoms of glory celestial, terrestrial, and celestial to provide a glorious place for his children. 